In our last video we started the challenge to make EOS busking ready within less than 30 minutes. For this, we prepared all kinds of palettes we can already create nice looking basic scenes with. To make the show look more impressive, we need to add some effects as well. And that's what we're doing in this video. We are starting with two intensity effects based on a simple sine wave. First, I need to add a new effect with a sine wave and change the scale to 100. Then I'll assign this effect to the washers and record it to Submaster 6. I also create the same effect for my spots. This time I would like to have an even odd effect, so I change the grouping from spread to 2. I record this to Submaster 7. We also need some color effects. I usually create some custom absolute effects based on my color palettes. I personally prefer this over the built-in effects because it uses exactly the colors I would like to use. Also, this method is really flexible if it comes to color effects that just use one, two or three colors. First, I'm building a smooth color effect that fades through all my eight saturated colors. For this, I add the color palettes as levels. To make the color effect simultaneously for all washers, I use a grouping of one. I add this effect to my washers and record it as Submaster 2. Now I copy this effect to effect 4 and change the grouping to 2. I set the duration to 5. This way I get a color effect with two different colors that fades occasionally. I add the effect to my washers again and record it to Submaster 3. The next two effects that we prepare are focus effects. For the first one I use the built-in circle effect 901 and add it to my spot fixtures. You should adapt the size of this effect so it matches your stage. The position will be defined by focus palettes. The speed will be selected by the corresponding submaster. For the washers, I'll use the can, -can effect 904. I would like to have an even odd effect, so I change the grouping from spread to two and then record it to the submaster. The last fader I prepare is a combination of strobes and movement. I turn on my spot fixtures, select some position and add strobes. Then I select a focus effect that is moving around everywhere like 903. I record this as Submaster 1 and load it to the corresponding fader. As you can see, there are a lot of cool things that you can prepare in a small amount of time. In the next video I'll show you how to config the faders to make life easier during the show. If this video was a good inspiration for your busking setup, please support this channel by leaving a like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos.